Paul here, keeping you up to date with the latest on the Ronin S, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the firmware version that came out for the Ronin S in mid-March 2019. It's version 1.8.0.70. There's also an app update, 1.1.8, you don't probably care about the numbers, but there are a number of features that it came out with as well as new compatibility with cameras. I have my dummy camera on here. We have one more thing to check out before we make the update to see if it actually fixed it. So let's go check it out. The first update that they said they made with the new firmware version is that it won't jerk anymore when going into the auto roll 360 mode. So right now this is the old firmware version and I'm gonna change it to the auto mode 360 and you see there's like jerk movement. Even if I just sit it here on the table, let's sit it down. You see there's this little nod that goes on. Hopefully that's fixed. So let's go cut to an updated firmware version and see if it's still doing it. I'm back and we've updated the firmware version to 1.8.0.70 in the Ronin S. Keep in mind that your DJI Pro Assistant app on your computer needs to get updated to do this. It's gonna prompt you to download a new update. You're gonna go through and click the buttons, install it. And it's a pretty quick procedure, but it's gonna take you just a little bit longer than normal. For the moment of truth, whenever I switch into Auto Roll 360, will it still do the little jerk movement? Let's see. Oh, do you see that smooth movement? Switching right into it. Now let me switch modes out of it. And it switches back. So you don't get that rough kind of jerk moment. Let's get it over here and we're gonna switch back to a nice mode. That's pretty good. The next feature has to do with this focus wheel right here. And keep in mind that you need a compatible camera, compatible lens, as well as right connections to enable this. If you're a Nikon fan, you get five selectable speeds now with this focus wheel. If you're a Canon user, you get three. If you're Panasonic, you get two speeds. And Sony, I didn't read anything about Sony yet, so I think you're still on one speed. So that'll be interesting once you get that hooked up to see how that works and how you can go in the app and select those settings so you can set that up appropriately. I currently don't have a setup where I can use this focus wheel because I typically just use it with the Canon 80D. Perhaps I need to pick up a new camera where I can use all these fancy new features. The last feature added is if you're a Nikon D850 user, you can do a double tap of the trigger to switch from playback to live view mode. I'm happy to see every time they release a firmware version, they keep expanding the camera compatibility. Up on the list for Canon are some highly anticipated ones, which are the 6D Mark II, as well as the EOS R, or EOS R. I'm guessing the RP would also fit in there, but I can't test it, but it does say the R is compatible, so I'm sure there's a bunch of people that are very interested in trying that out. I just need more cameras so I can try these myself. Also included is the Nikon Z6, as well as the Sony a7M3 and R3. So those are very highly anticipated cameras. Let me know in the comments below if you have those. Try them out and if there's any issues so people can comment as well and help share the knowledge between everyone. They did say that there's a couple other minor bugs fixed, but they didn't list them out, so I'm not sure what those are. I did find a little nugget when digging through the app, and maybe it's been there before, but if you go to the About page and click on Product Academy, you can go and find the manual and little tutorials in there as well with videos and user manuals and stuff. So you go check that out if you need it. I want to talk real quick about some accessories. If you want to add things on here, because you can add them on top of your camera, but you can also add them on to the Ronin itself. The first one is a very cheap one that I picked up on Amazon. You can check out a link in the description below. And all this is, is a little piece here that you add right here, which I'll show you right now. Remove that little DJI cap, and you can add quarter inch threaded pieces on there. Once you have it installed, it's very secure. You can use things like lights, let me go get one, to install on the side of it. So this is the Lytra Pro. I'll put a link in that in the description below. And also go check out, I went to Australia and tested these things out. Really quick, watch part two. That's probably the most fun part. I'll put a little card up here, and then I can use this light as I go around and shine this around. You can also put a little extender on here, an arm or something, and connect a microphone or anything else. If you wanna go beyond there, I suggest going back to the dual handle setup that I showed earlier, which I'll put on here right now. There we go, we have the dual handle grip on here. We have the Lytra Pro on the top. This gives us quite the lighting setup. 
But anyways, there's lots of different ways to attach things. Since I started doing this, I've been getting more and more emails offering more accessories for the Ronin S. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in having me include more of those in these firmware updates or doing separate reviews of them. This has been a ton of fun. I'm glad they're keep adding compatibility updates as well as these feature updates. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also let me know in the comments below. This has been Paul with version 1.8.0.70 for the Ronin S as well as version 1.1.8 for the app. Thank you for watching.